Hi, I'm Marcella Alonzo, and this is my very first YouTube post. So, what I wanted to do is bring you into my home. I love where my apartment is. I live in Brooklyn. I'm not gonna share you the area because of stalkers and stuff like that, but I'm pretty close to a bridge, as you can see. Um, my apartment's very dear to me. I've been here since June of 2020. What happened was, and it's quite a bit of a story, but I was living uh, during the time of COVID right in Manhattan, right in Midtown, and it was really a pain when I lived there. What I mean by a pain, um, it was impossible during COVID for me to get food. Amazon deliveries was impossible. It was like a two hour wait. Um, there was an awful grocery store called um, D'Agostino's. It was right downstairs from me. It was like the worst grocery store you can imagine where everything was like way overpriced or meat was bad or vegetables were old. It was just terrible. So my decision was let me move to one of the boroughs so I could, you know, in case we didn't know what was happening. It was like my lease was up in the middle of COVID. Um, the apartment that I was at was like, they were in denial. They're like, people are moving here every day from Ohio with no issues. Like they were really in denial. They wanted me to sign another two year lease, which I wasn't comfortable at the time because we all know, you know, what was happening with COVID was very scary. So I was like, hey, that's unrealistic to sign two years. Um, and it was kind of a weird timing. So um, I looked at different boroughs. There was nothing in Queens. I did find one apartment in Queens, but um, had a very bad experience with a broker. Um, and I was just so turned off. It wasn't the right apartment. In Brooklyn, I found a lot of stuff. However, I was discriminated in Brooklyn, um, not once, but twice. Um, what was crazy was my last apartment was 3,300 and I was downsizing to Brooklyn area and that would have been like 2,500. Of course, right now the rents are a lot high. Um, I had money coming in during the pandemic. My credit score was high. What was the issue? Um, my last name, I'm Hispanic. So there is still some discrimination um, going on. They're really trying to gentrify the areas. Um, so I couldn't get in those apartments, but luckily I got into the most beautiful apartment with the best landlord ever. Um, I'm very happy here. And so that is why my first YouTube video, I really want to show you my place. Sorry, my cat is in the background interrupting here. <laughs> She's right over there. Look how cute she is. Anyway, um, yeah, I really want to show you my apartment and everything. Um, this is special to me. Um, I would like to also make more YouTube videos if you have any questions or any um, ideas or videos you'd like me to make, please share with me because I'm here for you. So let's begin. Let me show you my place. So here we begin. Um, sorry, last video I had the fan on. Um, this is a pre-war apartment. Anyway, we're going to start off with the living room. Um, when I first moved in, I was so, well, I was attracted to this big thing right here in the living room. You can see my girlfriend was just visiting and she suggested I get that VIP lounge. Here's my cat puts getting her treats. Um, I have a little closet right in here. This was the fan that was so loud, by the way. Um, this actually was, could have been like a fourth bedroom, but I turned it into, and I'm gonna show you real quickly. Please don't judge, but I put, I turned it into um, a closet. <laughs> Cause it was big enough and um thank god there's my um liquor bar bar um i inherited a lot of stuff from my father so it is incorporated in my house um there's some of my santos right over there um i always have candles burning my weights uh pictures of my family you can see some of the stuff uh this is artwork done of my three dogs um i currently have a total of five animals my one dog ashton i'll go into more he did pass away um i inherited more stuff that i inherited from my father these footballs and also um i inherited a lot of uh records so this is all from my father's collection um holding on to it for whatever reason I'm not into music, I'm more into comedy. So this is the living room. There's the cat toy, and I'm gonna show you some more in just a second. 
So this was my daughter's bedroom when she was in um, school and all that. I'm trying not to show outside, uh, but I turned it into sort of like my art, um, not my art, my makeup room. And I put some of my stuff in here. Um, so it's sort of still her room, but you know, well, she's into makeup too as well. Um, I put all my makeup. This is where I get ready. You can see my pictures there. If you can tell that I love Hello Kitty. There is, um, what do you call it? I have to go for jury duty. So that's to remind me. A picture I found actually when I was in Manhattan and I put it up. Um, there is more makeup. As you can tell, I love Hello Kitty. So this is bedroom number one. And uh, sort of a guest room, my little charging station over there. But it's cute, isn't it? So let's go to So there's only one bathroom here. Again, this is a pre world, pre war uh, building, meaning it was before World War II, I believe. War, war, war I. I have to double check. Sorry about the not fact checking here, but this is just me looking. This is my. Uh, a light that I have at night, along with my air fryer, my kitchen. Look at all my spices. There's all my dogs. Um, I have two homes. Um, oh, there's my friend Andrea. She's out of LA. Say hi, Andrea. There's some more of my dogs. There's my kitchen with all my spices. Look at it, all my products. We don't have a lot of cupboard because of when it was built. Now I'm going into my second room. Um, as you can see, I have family photos here, my perfume. Um, what I've done is I got a spice rack and turned it into where you can put perfumes and stuff like that. A mirror, cute, real cute. This is where I do like podcasts and different stuff. I have my light, I had it on earlier. Um, this is another room. This is the guest room. <laughs> and I've incorporated some stuff. You can see some of the stuff that I have. I have the high heels matching. And there's a little sign right there. Just to remind you guys what to do. Um, this was my dog that passed. And I have to say something. I want to talk a little bit about this. Um, I have really great fans. I had a fan by me. Let's see if the light needs more light. Hold on. I had a fan by me this and another fan by me the set of this. This was my dog. I don't know if you can see the pictures. His name was Ashton. Like after Ashton Kutcher, he was with me for over 12 and a half years. Unfortunately, he passed. There are some more pictures, picture of artwork, um, but I'm very lucky to have some really great fans that have sent me little gifts through the years to help me get over his death. And that is that room. This is a uh, guest the guest room right over here. Now to the final room. So this is the messiest room in the house, generally. Um, this is actually where I sleep. I don't have it really decorated and I'm kind of funny um, that I just sleep in it. So, <laughs> and I really didn't decorate it like I did, except for I do have this California sign because I lived in Cali for 10 years, so. Anyway, thank you so much. Um, for coming today to explore my apartment. I just wanted to show it off. Uh, my rent currently is 2475, three bedroom, technically four. I'm knocking on wood. I don't get my rent raised. Um, I pretty much wanna be here. I love my home. I love where I live. I'm very happy here. Um, it's great. So thank you, subscribe, and like my YouTube if you do like it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.